truly this Jesus of Nazareth was a righteous man. And that's something coming from a dyed-in-the-wool Pharisee such as myself. I'm Simon, a local religious leader here in Galilee and the most unlikely host to an extraordinary dinner party, one they're still talking about to this very day. That young woman is Hadassah. She looks good, wholesome, at peace. But that was not the case. A lot has changed for Hadassah. Let me tell you the story of what has happened to her and how we both wound up here at the foot of the cross. Tamar, you have no idea what she's been through. I guess even sinners need water. Well, you know who does need water? Mother needs water. Come on. So, Navot, Herod's 
officials made you another offer? But this is our farm, Sarah. Our land. Father Caleb's inheritance. It's not for sale at any price besides. I still owe Zacharias a debt on the place. So why doesn't he understand this? You know those royal official types. I simply told him. I hope you were. It's a matter of conscience. I told him if Caesar himself came all the way from Rome seeking to buy my land, I would have to tell him that I respectfully decline. Girls. I hope they appreciate his good conscience as much as we do. Girls, hurry, come here. Hadassah, Ananias is on his way. Uh, hurry, child, go make yourself beautiful. Mama, <laughs> hurry, he will be here soon. Tamar, before you fix yourself up, uh, we need some more oil for the cake and some more honey, too. Go, child, hurry, hurry. We don't have all day. And Navot, oh, never mind. I think there's somebody at the door. Good Sabbath, Navot. Good Sabbath, Ananias. Obed, set it down here. See you at home. Your father Levi, he's coming? Uh, father sends his regards. He doesn't get out much since mother's passing. Oh, uh, of course. Well, let's, let's eat. Here, you take the seat of honor. Before we sit, I was hoping to present Hadassah's dowry. Ah, uh, yes, Hadassah is almost ready. Hurry, girls! We mustn't keep our guest waiting. <clears throat> Introducing my beautiful, yet humble, soon-to-be-married sister, <clears throat> which means I'm next, Hadassah. Oh, yes. Before we sit, I, I was hoping to present a token of my intentions for you. I, I, I'm, I mean, my love for you. Please, please open. of a skilled craftsman. I would give a lifetime's wages for Hadassah. Ananias, I, I don't know what to say. I, I, do not say anything. Hurry, hurry. It, is, it is almost sundown. Hurry, hurry, we must eat. I'm so proud of you, Hadassah. Papa. Maybe, maybe now you could pay off the debt. Nonsense. This is your gift. I want you to keep it. Please, please let me help, Papa. I, I feel bad. You don't have any sons. Listen to me, Hadassah. I'm your father. You are a true daughter of Israel, more valuable to me than seven sons. I love you, Papa. Welcome to our family, Ananias. Thank you, Devo. We don't have much, but like King Solomon said, better to be a poor man with the fear of the Lord than a rich man with trouble. 
Sarah, light the candles. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, which giveth us bread from the earth. Protect and defend you. May he always shield you from shame. May you come to be in Israel a shining name. May you be like Ruth and like Esther. You be deserving of praise. Strengthen them, O oh Lord, and keep them from the stranger's way. May God bless you and grant you long life. Send you husbands who will care for you. May the Lord protect and defend you. May the Lord preserve you from pain. Favor them, O Lord, with happiness and peace. Oh, hear our Sabbath. so important that you would disturb my family on the Sabbath? No vote. Son of Asher, I hereby place you under arrest for the charge of high treason against Caesar and insurrection against Rome. Well, well there must be some mistake. There is no mistake. You. You're having me arrested to get my land? Just this morning, this man told me he holds no respect for either Rome or Caesar. Liar! And Herod, being a loyal subject of this great empire, declares it is our duty to report this seditious man. I said no such thing. Y yeah, you did. I was there, and, and I heard it with my own ears. Who are you? It doesn't. What would you have me do with this? Gym? I want this man arrested. Arrest him. Wait. Listen to me. I know this man. He's a loyal citizen and a devout worshiper of God. And who are you, son of Levi? If you knew what was good for you, you'd stay away from this, this scoundrel. My name is Ananias and I'm betrothed to Navot's eldest daughter. My father's not a scoundrel. He's an honorable, respectable, loving man. In the name of all that is good, please, let him go. You're coming with us. No, no, Papa! Right. Right. Coward, strike him! Watch him! Uh, 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 uh. 
Take that one. I think that's everything. Anything else, ma'am? Yes. One more thing. Tamar, please take Obed into my room. In the corner. In the corner there is a chest. talked about this. The best way I can honor Papa's memory is by paying off the debt. It's the right thing to do. But Hadassah, a servant in Galilee, your father would not have wanted this for you. Mother, I know what I'm doing. Besides, Zacharias and Abigail are like family. And in just three years, the whole debt will be satisfied. You are as stubborn as your father. God willing. And I'll be freed by the time Ananias is released. But Hadassah, we, we don't even know of, we don't know what happened. You wouldn't have to do this if, if you would only sell. My alabaster jar? Never. Ananias will be freed and we will marry. It's what Papa would have wanted. I'm so sorry, Hadassah. Oh, why has the hand of the Lord come against us? Time to go, Mama. Hadassah. I will miss you, my child. You and Tamar, go to Uncle Eliav and, and I'll be fine. I love you, my child. Tamar, please. Come and kiss your sister goodbye. <laughs> Tamar, listen to me. Your job is to take care of Mama now. Do you hear me? I love you, Hadassah. I love you too.
Papa is with you in heaven. Can he see me? Can he hear me? Please tell him I miss him. Please forgive me, try to understand me. Papa, don't you know I had no choice? Can you hear me praying anything I'm saying? Even though the night is filled with voices. I remember everything you taught me, every book I've ever I could get him. Here's your fee. Forty-nine! You got a visitor. Five minutes. Father, 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 have you found her? Hananias. I haven't even looked for her. You got more important things to think about. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. There was talk of execution. Execution? Yes. The charge was insurrection. But after some haggling, and a hefty sum, I might add, I managed to convince them you were drunk. I've never been drunk a day in my life. I risked a lot to save your life, Ananias, not your reputation. Of course. I appreciate everything you're doing for me, Father. 
All that is left now is the sentencing. But the magistrate is wintering in Caesarea and won't return until spring. That's nearly six months. Well, the good news is you'll be out here sooner rather than later. I'll pay back every denarii. I promise. Yes, you will. When you come out of here, you'll come and work with me. You will find a girl from your own class. Elysia's youngest is still available, and I made all the necessary arrangements. Father, I'm betrothed. As soon as I get out of here, I'm going to find my Hadassah, and we're going to be married. Forget about Hadassah. She's the reason you're here in the first place. But I love her. Ah, oh, I warn you to stay away from that dirt farmer's daughter. Time's up. Father, I've given her my sacred pledge. Oh, son, sometimes you just have to cut your losses. Navot was right. Those scoundrels wanted his land. They took it. The family was split, and Hadassah, headstrong and impulsive, was convinced it fell upon her to vindicate her father's name. I wish it were not so, but isn't it painfully true that often it's our own misguided choices and rash decisions which take us places we did not intend to go? going to have to tell her today. Are you sure there's nothing else we can do? Look, times have been rough, and we are fortunate that we can settle our business with Dothan by giving him the last two years of Hadassah's service. I understand. It's just, I feel so bad for her. I mean, when she first came to us, she was so heartbroken and sad. What a wonderful blessing it is to see her smile again. Having Adasa around has made me smile again, too. I am going to miss her. I think I'd feel better about this if she was If wasn't, what? If she wasn't going to the house of Dothan and Salome. Now, you know I don't like to gossip, but... I hear things in town. Abigail, I cannot conduct my business according to what your little birds chirp in the marketplace. Please call her. Hadassah? Yes? May we speak with you? Yes, but before you say anything, please allow me to show you something. <laughs> Be my guest, Hadassah. Well, first, Zacharias, Abigail, I just want to thank you. You two have been like angels to me. Even better, like my own father and mother. And because of you, I have hope again. Oh, my precious daughter. It's been our blessing. Hadassah, your father was a, was a great man, and I'm honored that you would say such a thing. Oh, what's in the bag? Oh, well, the night my father was killed, Ananias gave me a dowry. It's this all It's about beautiful. And costly, no doubt. When Navot told me the son of Levi was well off, he wasn't exaggerating. Zacharias! Maybe this is the answer to her problem. Problem? What problem? Hadassah, please have a seat. I, we have something we need to tell you. Times have been rough and well, I, 
I had no choice. I had to sell the remainder of your obligation to another family. Sell? Oh, but Hadassah, with this expensive dowry, you can sell it and buy your freedom. You can stay as a guest and we can have so much Abigail, fun. Abigail, Abigail, you're too kind, but I can't sell it. This is everything my father wanted for me. H Hadassah, I don't think you understand. I don't like to gossip, no, but... No, no, Abigail. With, with all due respect, you don't understand. This is my hope and, and my future. And I won't sell it. I understand. When do I leave? Tomorrow. Oh. Well, if they're half as gracious as you two, then my time will be as a few days. <laughs> oh. Then, Abigail, could I ask you a favor? Of course. Will you keep my alabaster jar safe until I can return for it? Yes, I promise I'll keep it safe. It's okay. And another thing, the corners and the ceiling still haven't been cleaned. What have you been doing on more? Where is that girl? Hadassah! Do I have to tie a bell around your neck? Forgive me, Salome. It's just that- Salome? Salome? Excuse me? Are you my peer? Dothan, the new help just called me Salome. Forgive me, it's just that Zacharias and Abigail- Quiet. I don't care what those old kooks let you get away with, but you're in my house now, and you'll have proper respect. As a matter of fact, let me spell it out for you, and I'll use small words so I know you'll understand. You are the servant. I am your better. Understand? Yes, madam. <laughs> we'll just see about that. Dothan, I'm not sure she can earn her keep, much less pay off her debt. It's too late. The deal's been made. Well then, I'm going to the market. And as long as you're sitting there doing nothing, you might as well keep an eye on our new help. Oh, I'll keep an eye on her. Just make sure she gets some work done. Never mind her, Hadassah. She hasn't seen your finer attributes. Yes, sir. Please, call me Doth. The mistress prefers that I use your proper titles. <laughs> Nonsense. Come, break. I have well, a lot of chores that I must finish. Hadassah, I am your master. Come, 
sit for a nice friendly chat. quite lovely, Hadassah. I have a lot of chores the mistress expects me to finish. Sit down. A lot of young women would envy your position. The chance to spend a little time with a man of my caliber. Perhaps, even to become his concubine. I am betrothed. His name's Ananias, and he's given me a dowry. Come with me now. I will help you to forget all about this Ananias fellow. No! He's coming for me! And what <laughs> You don't seem to understand, Tadasa. Willing or not, you belong.
of service in this house? You don't think I haven't noticed all the time you spend around me? I haven't noticed when you are the first to volunteer to carry my baskets to the marketplace? I have noticed, and I know exactly why. You're studying me, my ways. You want to replace me. I would rather be dead. Dead? <laughs> That's funny. You know, I've really come to savor this past year that we've spent together. And I know that my husband has as well. Oh, oh, you didn't think you were the first creature to catch his eye, did you? But you are different from the others. You see, you're beautiful. <laughs> or at least you were. And as they say, all good things must come to an end. Which is why I have decided to sell the last year of your service. <clears throat> yeah. To the Roman brothel. <laughs> oh, no. No, please. No. Please. Please, I'll do anything. Please, no. No. I'll, I'll work harder. No, please. Oh, Hadassah. Too late. The deal's been made. No. Take her! No! 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 Please! Please! No! 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 personal assistant? No. Time's up. I'm out of here. And from now on, I serve no one. Ugh. Listen to mousy little Hadassah. Oh, you've changed. 
But really, what are you going to do? I'm going to Bethlehem to find my mother and sister. And just pick up where you left off? I mean, where will you live? You can't stay here in town. I mean, there's no one in town that doesn't know you. I mean, I wouldn't... You know, maybe we'll go to Tiberius. Nobody knows me in Tiberius. We'll live there. And then I'll tell you what. I'll sell one of my palaces and come and join you. Hadassah, face it. This is who you are, and you're going to be back in service before Passover. Do you see this? This is what I wore the night I was betrothed. This, this is who I am. You were betrothed? I mean, you were really getting married? His name was, his name is Ananias. You really believe all this, don't you? He gave me a dowry, an alabaster jar with a whole pound of spike nerd. You almost had me, Hadassah. But what you don't understand is if you really had something like that, I don't think you'd be here. Something like that costs a fortune. So, if you really have one, where is it at? Safe. What's it to you? So, what happened to this Ananias? Do you think he's still looking for you? I don't know. Yeah, she's everything a man ever wanted, Tasha. A worthless, used up, useless wineskin of a bride. Oh, with hidden treasure. You, come with me. Move along. Seriously, why won't you help me find her? Why won't anybody help me find her? Hadassah. Ananias? Hadassah. I've been looking. I've been looking all over for you. I've been here. When were you released? About a year ago. I've been looking all over for you. And now that I've found you... No, Ananias. Things have happened. Bad things. And, um... And I'm not the same person you knew three years ago. What things? what Hadassah it doesn't even matter we can move away we'll go somebody where we'll go somewhere where nobody knows us I know who you are Hadassah I know the girl you really are inside no the nice it won't work 
I've moved on. But Hadassah, Hadassah, I love you. You don't love me. What? You don't even know me. What, what do you mean? We're, we're betrothed. You, you just want your dowry back. My well, I don't have it anymore. I think you should go. But Hadassah, I... I said go! details. Your story is my story. You see, I was a prostitute in a village near Hebron until the Messiah found me. I grew up outside of Hebron. What did you say your name was? Excuse me, I'm Mary. You're Mary the prostitute. I was that Mary. I was walking through life in a stupor, completely dead on the inside, until the day I met the master. He's that rabbi. Yes. Everyone's talking about. Yes, would you like to go with me? You know, he's here in no. town and I'll take you to meet him. No, no, no. Righteous men have nothing to do with sinners like us. It's not the healthy who need a doctor. Anyway, he was preaching one day in a nearby town, so I decided to go and I hung around the back of the crowd, hoping to get a peek and hear what he had to say. As he began speaking, I found myself weeping and trembling and he, just, he spoke with words full of compassion and love. I must have fainted because the next thing I knew, Jesus was helping me to my feet, telling me my sins were forgiven. He spoke to me as if he always knew me. He sought me out and found me just to return my soul. In a moment, I was changed. But who is this man? forgives sin. Oh no, I'm late for this supper's Messiah's supper. I must go. What's your name? Hadassah. Hadassah, a true daughter of Israel. More valuable than seven sons.
Listen to me, Hadassah. I'm your father. You are a true daughter of Israel, more valuable to me than seven sons. Oh, oh Papa! Crowds were in the streets that day when Jesus came to town. All the synagogue was there, more from miles around. So I asked him home to dinner just to see what I could see of this famous local prophet from here in Galilee. 
course, I was skeptical. We all were. But this Jesus was a phenomenon I had to examine. To be honest, I was hoping to catch him in some slip, some mistake, hear some slip of the tongue. I heard and saw a lot more than I bargained for. Strange things are happening these days, Simon. It's hard to tell if it's God or the work of mere man. Strange things indeed. More wine? Oh, yes, please. And I don't know just how that woman got into the room, but you couldn't miss her gaudy clothes and her strong and sweet perfume. She went straight to Jesus' feet and stopped and stood right there, then cried and wet his feet with tears and dried them with her hair. Now of all the women in my town, none was more well known for the flagrant sin she lived in and the wickedness she'd sown but he did not move to stop her seen this prophet could not tell that the woman who was touching him was the kind they buy and sell i was shocked appalled it was worse to me than if some animal had wandered in from the stockyard and felt as if my house, my table, my very soul were polluted by such a person. The master's reaction shook me to the core, left me disgusted and ashamed. Simon. I have something to say to you. Say it, teacher. There was once a creditor who had two debtors. One owed him 5,000 denarii, the other one 50. Knowing that neither one of them could pay him back, he forgave both of them of their debt. Now tell me, which one would love him more? I suppose the one who was forgiven the larger debt, you have judged rightly. He said, take a good look at this woman, in spite of all her fears. She's kissed me and anointed me and washed my feet with tears. She's honored me and you've been only rude to me instead. You gave no kiss of greeting, no anointing for my head. And your sins are red as scarlet, now they're washed away. For the love and faith you've shown is all the price you have to pay. For the depth of God's forgiveness is more than he can see. And in spite of what the world may think, you're beautiful to me. Now my anger flamed to hatred. I wanted nothing more than to take that prophet by the throat and throw him out the door. To act like God forgiving sins and to talk that way to me. This itinerant from Nazareth in backwards Galilee. But instead I sat and trembled, shaken to the core. The woman still was weeping as she knelt there on the floor. Jesus turned to her and said, your chains have been released. 
your faith has saved you from your sins. Rise, walk in peace. Her sins were red as scarlet, but now they're washed away. The love and faith she's shown is all the price she had to pay for the depth of God's forgiveness is deeper than the sea no matter what the world may think she's beautiful to me for the depth of God's forgiveness is deeper than the sea no matter what the world may think she's beautiful 